preparation of pure sample of potassium trioxalato ferrate 3. Potassium trioxalato ferrate 3 is an octahedral transition metal complex with the formula K3FeC2O4 thrice in which three bidentate oxalate ions are bound to an ion center. The central ion atom is in the plus 3 oxidation state. This complex can be prepared by dissolving freshly prepared ferric hydroxide in a solution of potassium oxalate and oxalic acid. Our aim here is to prepare a pure sample of potassium trioxalato ferrate 3. Materials required 3.5 grams anhydrous ferric chloride 4 grams potassium hydroxide 4 grams hydrated oxalic acid 5.5 grams hydrated potassium oxalate ethyl alcohol distilled water cold water china dish buckner funnel spatula glass rod beakers measuring jars trough watch glass filter papers, black paper, and sand bath. Procedure Take about 3.5 grams anhydrous ferric chloride in a 250 milliliters beaker. To this add about 50 milliliters of distilled water using a measuring jar. Stir the solution using a glass rod to dissolve ferric chloride. In another beaker, Take 4 grams of potassium hydroxide. Pour another 50 milliliters of distilled water into this beaker. Stir the solution using a glass rod to dissolve potassium hydroxide. Add potassium hydroxide solution to ferric chloride solution in small proportions with constant stirring using a glass rod. Ferric chloride reacts with potassium hydroxide to form a brown precipitate of ferric hydroxide. Filter the precipitate of ferric hydroxide so formed through a Buckner funnel. Wash the precipitate with distilled water and transfer it into a watch glass. In another beaker, take 4 grams of hydrated oxalic acid and 5.5 grams of hydrated potassium oxalate. To this add about 100 milliliters of distilled water. Stir the solution thoroughly using a glass rod to get a clear solution. Using a spatula, add freshly prepared ferric hydroxide precipitate in small proportions to the solution of potassium oxalate and oxalic acid with constant stirring to dissolve the precipitate. If the precipitate does not dissolve, then warm it and leave the contents for some time. Then filter the solution into a china dish using a funnel and filter paper. The stem of the funnel should touch the wall of the china dish to avoid the solution splashing out. After filtration, the insoluble impurities are left behind on the filter paper. Heat the solution in the china dish over the sand bath. To avoid crust formation on the side of the dish, stir the solution continuously with a glass rod. When the volume of the solution is reduced to about one half of its original volume, take out a drop of the concentrated solution at the end of the glass rod and cool it by blowing. Formation of thin crust indicates that crystallization point has been reached. Now place the china dish in a trough containing cold water. Cover the dish with a black paper and allow it to cool slowly for some time. On cooling, emerald green crystals of potassium trioxalato ferrate 3 separate out. Decant the mother liquor carefully into a beaker. Wash the crystals two or three times with small amount of ethyl alcohol. Using a spatula, remove the crystals to a filter paper which soaks up the solution. Transfer the crystals to another filter paper and dry them by pressing gently between the folds of the filter paper. Now, transfer the crystals into a watch glass. The crystals of pure potassium trioxalato ferrate 3 are emerald green in color and are octahedral in shape. 
precautions. The solution should be evaporated slowly by gently heating during concentration. Cool the solution slowly to get good crystals.